Hi. Well, it's great to be back again in our virtual church. Uh, I don't know if you remember last week we did, uh, we began the wonderful story of a man called George Muller. And we talked about how he had a cold heart. Here's our cold heart. And how his heart was turned away from God when he was a young man. Um, how he gambled, how he um, was often drunk, he stole money. Um, he, he went across Europe staying in hotels that, where he didn't pay the bills. And in the end, do you remember, he ended up in a prison um, and his father came and rescued him. He was only 16 and he sent him off to university where he continued his wild lifestyle. And then incredibly, when he was 21, he went to a prayer meeting. Uh, we've got a picture of the house where the actual prayer meeting took place. And there he met real Christians for the first time. Um, and he came out of that prayer meeting, I don't know if you remember this, and he said to his friend, everything I've done up until now, all the stuff we've been into, all our adventures, it means nothing compared with what I felt uh, in my heart tonight. And we heard how he went back again that week several times, and over those days he became a Christian. Um, and his life began to change, he began to turn towards God, um, he went on studying at the university, but he felt that he shouldn't take any more money from his father because of the money he'd stolen. Um, and so he decided um, to pray to God and ask him to help him because he had two more years of studying. There were no student loans in those days. So he, um, he prayed and asked that God would help him. And incredibly, um, one of the professors, not knowing about this, came to him and said, we've got some American professors who are coming to the university. You're very good at teaching German. Could you teach them German? Could you help them with their um, academic work that they're doing? And we will pay you. And they paid him very well. Um, and so he was able to continue on and finish at university in Halle um, without his father's help, without uh, needing anyone else. He was trusted, he had trusted in God. And then at that time, as God was working in his heart, he began to offer his life to God. He began to do what I think God wants all of us to do, whatever stage we're at. Um, he said, God, here is my life. Um, I want you to use me. I will go where you want and I'll do what you want. And he prayed with other friends and waited on God over about a year and a half. And he felt um, that God was calling him to go to London, to our city, um, and to preach the gospel among the Jewish people and to work among the poor. Uh, so he got ready to go and an opening came and some people were going to support him and he, he travelled across. It took him several days. Um, he came in a boat um, and there were difficulties on the journey, but he arrived in London and began this work um, among the poor in London. He was at that time very moved by the plight of the poor in London. There were desperate poverty, desperate overcrowding. We've got a picture here of a, a family. Uh, the kids were often in rags. They didn't have shoes. There wasn't proper water and sanitation. And, and because God was working in George Muller's heart, his heart was um, changing and he began to care about people more. Um, and he became increasingly concerned about the poor and he began to work more among them. Um, and as this was all beginning to happen, suddenly he got sick and he got very sick and his friends called the doctor uh, and the doctor came to him and said, you're dying, you're not going to make it through this illness. Um, and at that time, God was again working in his heart in a deeper way. And he said he realized at that time that his heart was actually lukewarm, even though he wanted to serve God. There were many attitudes in his heart and things that were wrong. And he began to confess his sins. He began to see the true state of his heart and cry out to God to do something more in his life and in his heart. And amazingly, during that time, he began to get better. And the doctor came again and said to him, you need to, if you're really going to recover, you need to go out of London, go and stay with some friends in the country, preferably, the Victorians really believed in this, go by the seaside. And he had friends who lived in a town that I've never been to called Tynmouth in Devon. So he travelled down there and as he was travelling there, he said he prayed to God and said to him, God, would you make this good for my physical body, but could it be even more so for my soul? Great prayer to pray when you're going on holiday. 
So he went to Tynmouth and there he met um, numbers of young men who were, um, whose hearts were on fire for God already, who were studying the Bible in a way George Muller had never seen. They were praying fervently. He'd never been to uh, prayer meetings of this kind of depth and excitement. Um, and God began to work in his heart. Um, he said at that time it was like he became a Christian again. Uh, he said he was filled with joy. Sometimes after the meetings in the evenings, he was so filled with joy he felt he couldn't sleep and he would wake in the morning. Um, with he, he said his soul was enraptured with God and with joy. Um, he had met the living God um, and his heart was being set on fire. And during that time, he learnt to pray more. He began to read the Bible. And as he read the Bible, he said it was like food for his soul. He said it was like bread from heaven to him. Um, and he became thrilled and filled uh, with the Holy Spirit, um, who began to reveal Jesus to him much more. Uh, and he was getting ready, God was getting him ready for the extraordinary work that was going to happen through his life. So we'll hear the next bit of the story next week. Okay, let's pray. Um, Lord Jesus, uh, we thank you for what you did in George Muller's life, how you turned him from darkness and from a life that was selfish and empty and pointless um, into a life that was full of meaning and purpose, uh, where you filled his heart. And we're praying, Lord, would you, would you do this in our hearts, Lord, as you melted his heart and then as you showed him the true state of his heart, would you do this with us, Lord? And would you come and come with your Holy Spirit um, and breathe on us and set our own hearts on fire? Really pray and ask this, Lord, in your name. Amen. So just to say as well, um, we would love to see more of your Thanksgiving pictures. We haven't had any for a couple of weeks now. Um, there's many, many things day after day that God wants us to be grateful for. So do send them in. You could take a photo of them, send them on WhatsApp, uh, send them over email. Uh, we'd love to see more of pictures, particularly from Flame. Uh, we'll do the grabber at the end of the service today, but we'd love to see those pictures and there'll be prizes for some pictures that come in um, and we'll be able to show them next week. Bye.